Hello, my name is Roger Watson, and in this very short session, we're going to look at how to enter data into SPSS. We're going to look at how to do it manually and also how to do it by importing from an Excel file. First of all, open up SPSS. You'll see that SPSS opens up. It's a blank file. There are two views here. The default opening is on the uh, on the data view, but there's also a variable view which we can ignore for the time being. To enter data, you need to be in the data view. And let's just imagine that there are two people, one and two, and they've answered uh, five questions on a questionnaire that's scored between one to five. And you have those data in front of you, and you're just going to enter them in here. So I'll do it very simply. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll give this person five, four, three, two, one. And that's how you enter data manually. Now we'll look at how to import data from an Excel file. Before we do that, however, we'll just flick into the uh, variable view for a minute and you'll see that the uh, variables are automatically ascribed a name variable 0001 so forth down to 5. There are various parameters here which we don't have to bother about at this precise uh, moment. Okay, so back into the data view, but let's just shut this file down and start with a fresh uh, fresh SPSS file. That's the best way to do it. Open up SPSS again. You'll notice on the desktop up at the top left there's an SPSS, uh, sorry, an Excel file called SPSS import. That's the one that we're going to use to import the data. Get rid of that. Okay, so to enter data we go into uh, File and then Import Data and we want to import an Excel file. You'll see that there are different kinds of files that you can import but an Excel files are by far the most common ones that people use to uh, to enter data into after they've completed a, a survey. And then we it's opened up on the desktop view and there's the file. You click on the file and uh, it gives you a brief look at the data, it tells you various parameters you can set, but let, let's not worry about these at the moment. Let's just press OK and you'll see that the data are imported in from the um, Excel file. Uh, if we go to the variable view, we'll see again uh, that these have been automatically ascribed names, in this case V1 down to V10 when it comes in from, a, from an Excel file. Just in case you're uh, concerned about seeing if it's the same data, let's close that view down, click on the Excel file. And you'll see that the data, well, they look a little bit different, are exactly the same. 1 to 10, 10 up to 19. Quick check to see it's, but it's the same. So that's how you do data entry in two ways. One, manually, and two, importing from, a, from an external um, Excel file in this case. Thanks very much for listening.